In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can create a contingency table in Excel. Let's look at this data. So this data, the first column is the name. The second column is the gender. The third column is city choice. And one represents New York, zero represents Seattle. Of course, this data set is hypothetical data. If we want to answer a question saying that how gender impact city choice yes so they're going to visit um, imagine that they're going to it's a holiday they're going to visit city so they can choose either to visit new york or visit seattle how gender impact people's city choice we can create a contingency table to see the relationship how can we do that you can pick the insert and pick the table by default it seems that sometimes it, it will choose it will, it will show us some data here, sometimes it doesn't, but if it doesn't, you can just click here and select, you can select all the data you want. And then click yes. And we're going to just create a table in this current sheet. So we're going to just leave here, do not change anything. We're going to put the, the gender in the in the row and then the city choice in the column. You can you can reverse the order you want. It's kind of small. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, you might wonder, okay, why there's no any number here? You can the way you can put a number here is that you can select e either one or then either city choice or gender, you can put it here. And then you Remember, we're going to use the count data, so you can click here and then cho field choice. So you're going to set the count and then click yes. Now it has numbers. How can we inter interpret uh, this result? So here is zero is Seattle. Yes, yeah? among ten female participants, six of them choose uh, the Seattle, and seven among ten male respondents, seven of them choose uh, Seattle. So you can calculate the ratio. You can calculate the ratio, say that. Let's say six divided by 10, 60%, yes. And then for male, the percentage. I think that's it. That's the first case. We use the count. Another situation that you might, you might, for another scenario, you might say, okay, how about we're going to say that how how gender and city impact money spent. So they go to visit the city, uh, how that the city and gender, how that impact the money spent. For this case, it's not it's not count data anymore, but rather it's more like you're going to uh, do two by two and do a mean calculation. And how are you going to, going to do that? You can select this. delete that and then you can insert again and then pick a table okay you select all the number here all the cell data here and then click yes and here we're going to do gender city and then money spent and then you can okay so you can double check what this is about this is the sum yes see so this is sum then it calculates sum but you can maybe sometimes i think it made more sense calculate the mean so, but you can, if you want to change it to the mean, you can still average. So now you calculate it to the mean. Because you can change the, the and make it large. Now you can see the, the money spent uh, in a two by two table. I think that's it for this uh, very brief tutorial. So you, how you can use Excel to create contingency table. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to post this Excel uh, in the link down below in uh, this video. And if you would like to do some practice by yourself, you can download Excel to do some practice as well. And feel free to let me know if you have any questions.